Hello everyone, Oliver Drape here, trading insurance manager for Height Vision. What I'm going to show you today is our dual lens, wide angle colour view and powered by Dart Fighter PTZ. So this is dual lens technology. So we've got the one lens in there which is a colour view at wide angle lens, gives us an 89 degree field of view. And then also we've got the second lens in there which is our powered by Dart Fighter 25 times optical zoom. So the idea with this camera is it's got the uh, wide angle colour view. Again, as I mentioned, 89 degrees. That's an increase of at least 50% more than what you get to a standard pan tilt zoom camera. In addition to that, the lens is actually an f1.0 super aperture, so it captures four times more light than a conventional aperture. It's got the advanced sensor in the back so it can process those brighter images. And then in a, uh, a really low light or zero light environment, it's got physical white light out to the camera to put some light onto the scene so we still get that 24-7 colourful image. Now, when the camera goes to zoom in, what it does under the single channel, it changes over to the second lens, which is the Powered by Dark Fighter Pan Tilt Zoom, giving us that 25 times optical zoom, zooming in, giving us key details in the scene. Now, in addition to those, it also has our AccuSense technology for false alarm reduction, meaning we can actually uh, configure the camera to trigger up on scene a human and or vehicle in the scene, therefore reducing the false alarms caused by other irrelevant objects. Now, in addition to the colour view, powered by Dart Fighter, AccuSense technology, it also comes with our live guard feature as well, meaning that in the event of uh, triggering an event, such as a line crossing or an intrusion detection, it will trigger the alert back to the back end system. But in addition, the camera itself can flash a strobe light on the camera and trigger an audio out warning. And you can select one of the pre-recorded audio phrases in there. So take a hypothetical scene. Again, you've got a large industrial yard or a builder's yard where it's got a large area to cover. You've got your colour view at wide angle lens, which can cover all of that yard, whereas a normal pan tilt zoom camera might be struggling to cover the entire yard due to the actual, it usually only having about a 57 degree field of view. Again, with this, we've got an 89 degree field of view. But then on triggering an event, so someone breaks into that yard and then they start running off with your merchandise. Now, usually, again, does the offender know there's a camera there? Potentially they do so. Uh, again, are they bothered? Well, sometimes they might just run away, cover their faces up and try, obviously, not to get identified. However, this camera, upon seeing that event, it's going to flash that strobe light. It's going to do the audio out on there and hopefully drive the offender away before actually continuing with the crime. Because again, they'll be attracting attention to themselves. So what we'll do, let's pop over in the box and take a look and see what we get with this camera. So let's pop open the box and see what we get inside. So straight away, we've got your quick start guide. We have our 24 volt power supply. You're connected to put over your ethernet cable to make sure those uh, RJ45 clips stay uh, waterproof. Allen key for fitting. Then finally inside, we have the actual pan tilt zoom camera itself. So let's put this on a, a tripod, get this mounted, and let's see what this actually looks like. Okay, so uh, here it is. Uh, if we take a look at the front of the camera, uh, as you can see here, it's got two lenses. It's got the one here at the bottom, which is the uh, color view wide angle lens, giving us an 89 degree uh, field of view. Uh, again, giving us a full 24-7 colourful image. Uh, in a extremely low light environment or zero light, it does have two uh, physical white lights on the camera either side, as you can see there, which put physical light onto the scene up to uh, 30 metres. So again, you can get that full colourful image. Now, when the zoom does kick in and you actually go to use zoom, that's when the actual uh, Powered by Dark Fighter 25 times optical zoom kicks in. Uh, with that is an extremely low light environment, that will then utilise the IR lights that are either side of that lens there. By the bottom, we've got two uh, white light LED uh, strobes, which will actually uh, uh, flash or stay steady on, depending on how you configure it, upon seeing an event triggered, such as a line crossing or an intrusion detection. Likewise as well, at the top there, it's also got the speaker for the audio out. So uh, again, you can use any of the, the pre-recorded phrase in there. You can upload your own recording onto the actual camera itself. Uh, and again, that speaker can also be used uh, by a control room staff to actually broadcast uh, a live message out into the scene upon a scene intruder should they wish to. Now I've currently got this one configured, I've set up a line crossing just over there uh, uh, to the side, I'm just going to trigger that line crossing and we'll see what this camera actually does. So 
So as we saw from there, we're getting the uh, white light strobe light on there. And again, you can configure the brightness of what you want the strobe lights, the duration of those strobe lights. And we also got the audio out on there as well. Uh, again, as I mentioned, you can set uh, any of the pre-recorded phrase in there. Also upload your own broadcast and you can also configure the volume. Again, as always, you can also configure a schedule. So it might not be that you don't want the audio alarm going off 24-7, but you still want the notifications to come through. So you can set the audio uh, and the white light at different schedules. So they are lighted 24-7 if you wanted to, for example. But the audio out was potentially, say, overnight. Or again, it would be totally down to however the end user uh, wishes to configure this. So again, it's a fantastic uh, bit of kit. Uh, if you do want any more information on this uh, device, uh, uh, go to our website. I'll scan the QR code in the bottom corner uh, and I'll bring up the online data sheet. Or as always, speak to your distributor to get some further information. Thank you.